understand. A first aid kit should be available everywhere we go, in the home, in our car, when we go on holiday. We should be fully aware of its content and replace the missing items on a regular basis. In this video I'll explain more about the contents of a first aid kit. You can buy a complete kit or you can make a plastic box and place in it the contents that I'm going to mention now. Make a list of the contents as shown here so that if any component is missing, mark it on the list and make sure you replace it as soon as possible so that the kit is ready to use whenever you need it. First important component is the band-aid for small wounds, which should be present in a variety of sizes and shapes. Also make sure that you have enough of those, especially if you have small children at home. There also should be gauze with different sizes. For example, this one is 8.5 by 5 centimeters. There's also a 10 by 10 centimeter gauze, and there are bigger sizes available as well. I recommend the medium size, 8.5 by 5 centimeters, as it can cover larger wounds. There are also burn dressings, especially designed so that it won't stick to the site of the burn or abraded wounds. A good alternative would be plastic foil that is used for cooking. Besides, there's also plastic bandages, which have got many types and variable length and widths. This type of bandage is used for deep wounds and, if compression is needed, in sprains and in sometimes in fractures. The adhesive band is used to keep the elastic band or gauze secured in place. Sometimes we may need forceps, especially if living in countries known to have ticks. Forceps can also be used to remove thorns or glass embedded in the skin. Medical scissors are characterized by having certain angle or having rounded ends. Here we also have alcohol, cotton buds, cold and hot compressors. These compressors are commonly used in sprains and in fever, so you have hot and cold compressors. And there is foil for large burns, and is also used to cover victims in accident sites, as on the highway or in cold weather, to maintain the victim's body temperature. A good alternative is the aluminium or plastic foil we use in the kitchen. This was a brief summary of the necessary components of the first aid kit. In the coming videos I will discuss how to use each and every component in more details. I wish you good health. This video contains general information about medical conditions. The content might not be suitable for everyone and should not be treated as such. Always consult your doctor before using medications. The medical information is provided without any warranties or legal obligations to those who might apply them.